What's going on guys? Ryan McNeil, trickstars.com. Thanks for tuning in today. Guess what? I got a new watch. I figured you guys would, would love to see it. W would you like to see it? If you'd like to see it, smash the like button. If you hit that like button right now, I'll give you five seconds and I'll show you my new watch. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Look at that. Vintage, straight from the dealership. This costs a pretty penny. I know, it's incredible. Really nice. There's only one in the world. This is the one. <laughs> All jokes aside, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Giovanni, my Biak Green Tree Python. I got this Green Tree Python about three years ago, maybe three and a half, and I paid $500 for him at a reptile shop. Now, at the time, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I just knew he was beautiful and I really wanted to have him. Getting an animal like this is kind of a big deal because they can live between 20 and 30 years and they require a lot of care. It is a tropical reptile, so it needs a rainforest enclosure. It needs lots of care, attention, vitamins, sunshine. It needs lots of lights. If you guys are looking at getting a snake, you probably know this. I figured I'd just answer a few questions about things that you might want to know before you get one. This particular green tree python took a while to tame down. He was very aggressive when I first got him, and I believe that the first time I held him, he bit me about 25 times, and it took about 30 minutes of sitting there holding him, shaking like a leaf as he bit me over and over. And it was about that time that I realized what in the world have I got myself into. You see, the Biak Green Tree Python is the one that you will encounter the most because they are the cheapest. And there is a reason for that. The Biak Islands is off the coast of Indonesia and that is where these snakes are found. And they tend to be more aggressive because they have to fight for their food. They have to compete with one another because there's a limited food supply on this small island. Green tree pythons are born either red or yellow and they will turn green over time, but the Biak takes a longer time to turn completely green and most of them don't turn completely green. He is pretty much an adult. When I first got him, he was completely yellow. He had all kinds of cool spots and patterns, but now he is mostly green. Although you can see some of the yellow coloration on his face and um, on his body, he still retains some of his spots. So those will still begin to go away, but it takes them a long time to mature. This little man, Giovanni, lives in a very nice, large enclosure that I built for him out of plywood, and I foamed the backgrounds, covered it in silicone, covered it in wood chips and dirt and coconut husk. He's got plants in there and vines and sticks and all kinds of hideaways and that sort of thing. So if you get an animal like this, you're gonna want to have a nice enclosure for him. I know a lot of people keep these animals in a box with a PVC perch and maybe a vine or two. I personally don't agree with that. I just like to give the animal the most realistic enclosure that he can so he really feels at home. I believe I have showed him on my 1000 subscriber video to celebrate and I went around the house and showed all the animals that I have that contributed to making my channel get to where it is today. So if you'd like to see Giovanni's enclosure, you can go and check that video out. I'll link it right there. A green tree python needs things like a rain machine and a lot of humidity in their cage. They need food depending on how big and heavy you want your snake to be. I feed him anywhere from once a week to once a month. So keep it interesting. I like to notice when he's out hunting and I take that as a sign that he's hungry. So at night I'll see him come down, snoop around, be ready to strike and I'm thinking he's hungry. So I go get him a live rodent the next day and he eats it right away and he is super happy. He is a good weight and size. I believe he's four and a half feet long. I don't know what his weight is, but I think he's doing really good. He looks great to me. He sheds completely and he lets me hold him. So I'm happy with that. When you approach a snake like this, it needs to be from below. It needs to be slow and gentle. You need to make sure that you wake them up before trying to pick them up. And I do that by tapping on his branches, slowly speaking to him. He feels the vibrations and that causes him to wake up. He doesn't have ears. So to get the snake's attention, you need to create some sort of bump or jiggle or vibration in his branch. That will let him know something's about to happen. And finally, if you are thinking about getting an animal like this, I have a few recommendations for you. I would make sure, oh, he scared me, he just hissed, <laughs> I bumped him. They can be scary, they really can. I wouldn't be surprised if I got bit. You guys might see it, probably make the video. Hopefully he doesn't though. You okay? Just sitting here waiting to get bit. <laughs> uh, I love this guy, he keeps me on my toes. 
So do your research before you get an animal like this. Like I said, they do live a long time, they can be aggressive, and they do take a lot of work. So make sure that you get the one that you want. They come in different patterns and sizes, and for the most part, they all end up looking the same, like this, solid green and mean. Get the one that you want, and don't rush into it because it is a large responsibility, especially with taking care of them with their rain machines, their humidity, their diet. There's a lot to it to keeping a snake animal like this healthy. So just do your research, know what you're getting into. Please be responsible. If you're gonna get an animal like this, take care of it, give it a good life, make sure you're there for it. Anything that it needs, you're there to take care of it. It relies on you, you're the day maker. With that being said guys, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. Remember to check out trickstars.com. That's where you can get all of my artwork and t-shirts. I make them all myself. I've been doing it for many, many, many years. Anything that you buy off my shop helps support these animals. So I really appreciate all of you who have shopped on there. It's been overwhelming and I just can't thank you enough. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Giovanni, the green tree python. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.